Hello, welcome to you Flatland School of Dentistry. So I'll just walk you in. Got some tight security. So yeah, so this is the entrance of the School of Dentistry and the School of Medicine as well. So as you come in, you've got some sofas around um, and some offices. And then through those double doors, you can go into Harrington, where you can have food. They've got the refectory down there. And then through here is where you've got the lecture theatres. And some PBL rooms, that's where you're going to be doing a lot of group work. So, yeah. And then up the stairs, we've got um, on the first floor, we've got the prosthetics labs and the HARC. And the second floor, we've got um, phantom headrooms. Okay, so this is HARC. This is where we do all of our anatomy training. It's got um, a lot of models and stuff that are of the head and neck particularly. So if you come in, we've just got some tables here where we get lectures done and then there's different models like these are of the eyes and the ears and then we've got a torso model with like a brain in it and it's they're really good this room is open most of the time so what we used to do is just come in here have a sit down and just go through all the different models and it was just a great way to learn I find like with anatomy I can't really look at it on a paper 2d it's really great to see it in a 3d way so this is the prosthetic skills lab where we go in here and we have um, lectures on making dentures and crowns. We usually have like one day a week in first year and it's great. You get to learn from dental technicians who are really skilled and know a lot in their field. So we can't go in here at the moment because um, there's a lecture on and there's people doing stuff in there. But yeah, yes, this building's great because it's connected to a couple of other buildings. So if you go out here, you've got Harrington that's where you've got like the refectory and like you can get all your food to eat and they've got other things like another harp which is for medicine and they've got like more full body uh, things going on in there and then through these doors we've got um, the lecture theatres and some rooms that you can just go in and do some like group study work together and then we've got different labs for like mainly for the dental technician students that go in here and then some offices and in here is the lecture theatre where we spend most of our time. So um, in first year, you're going to get very familiar with this room. This is where we get a lot of the lectures done. And then when lectures become more online as you're at your decks in like the further years, um, a lot of the lectures will be recorded in here and broadcasted out to you or it'll be done live via Zoom or you might have to come in still. Yeah. Um, so we are here today in UCLan Dental School and um, we're going to be hearing about the UCLan experience. Um, so I'm here uh, with these lovely students and they're going to be telling me all about what it's like being a student at UCLan and um, how they're finding it in 2022. So maybe if you could just introduce yourselves um, one by one, maybe um, your name and what you did before coming to, to UCLan. So yeah, but let's... Hi, my name's Hannah. Um, I studied dental hygiene and therapy at Manchester University prior to starting at UCLan doing dentistry. Hi, my name's Sarita and I did dental hygiene and therapy as well at Cardiff. Hi, my name's Adam. Uh, I did biomedical science at UCLan prior to starting dentistry at UCLan. Yeah. Okay. So you guys have been here for four years now. What would you say are some highlights of being at, in Preston and UCLan Dental School or even the DEX, what are some highlights that you've experienced? <laughs> I say um, every year we have like a um, inter -deck quiz where all the DEX come together and we kind of battle it out. It's, that's always fun. Yeah, who won the year you did it? Walker. Walker? <laughs> okay, so the standards have gone down. Wow! Blackpool always used to win it. Yeah, they did always, they always to. cheat. cheat. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like All right. Okay. <laughs> okay. So more come one in. Okay. Fair and square. <laughs> How about you guys? What would you say? I think um, 
probably one of the highlights that I can vividly remember is um, probably at the placements that we've been on. So we actually get some, some good placements as pediatric placements, um, the orthodontic placements we go over to Carlisle, that's always good. Um, we've got the, the minor oral surgery placements, so um, I think you can have a good affiliation with uh, other uh, hospitals and departments where they send us over, we get to see um, procedures actually going on, so whether it's that like mandible reconstruction procedures, um, I did see an orthognathic surgery going on so I think that's definitely been the highlights going on placements and uh, observing those procedures going on. Okay and on the flip side what would you say have been some I guess difficult moments was it getting to grips with you know the workload you know what have been some challenges that you, you've, you've had during anatomy. the four years? Anatomy. <laughs> anatomy. <laughs> yeah. Why anatomy? Oh. What was hard for you? <laughs> Everything. <laughs> no, anatomy, I was just never good at. Just learning about the different framings and the different areas and locations. I was yeah. just never good at that. I could just never remember. Everything looks the same to me. <laughs> so I think, I think that's probably in the first year. That's probably that's one it. of the harder ones. But then... Yeah. Um, as you go through the years, I feel like you come across it so often. Um, you go on placements, you actually see it in, in, in real life, and I yeah. think it becomes a bit more real to you. And yeah. You can actually relate to it a bit more. Yeah, it's funny you say that, because I think yeah. first year was the hardest year for me, yeah. Yeah. Where, when I started at UCLan. Um, but yeah, how about yourself? I was going to say the same thing. First yeah. year was tough, you know, we're in a lot, mm -hmm. four and a half days a week. It was intense, like learning about, you know, neuroscience and the brain and anatomy. Yeah. It was, I think people find that the most challenging. And then as you progress through the course, you actually start, you know, going in less, I'd say. Mm -hmm. um, but it's very much patient focused and getting mm -hmm. that experience with patients, which I think yeah. is really beneficial. Yeah. Yeah, and first year it's just very content heavy. Mm. Like I just found like there was just so much to do, yeah. and like like you said, we're in so much as well where mm. you have like very little time, so you've got to be like so organised. Yeah. yeah. Would you say there's any piece of equipment you've really enjoyed using, or any procedure you've really enjoyed during the four years? What would you say that thing is? Um, I mean. Towards um, the end of fourth year, I did get some loops, so I think those have definitely been something which have which have helped me. Mm -hmm. um, some good magnification always goes a long way, especially with uh, uh, towards the end of fourth year doing your crown preps, your root canals, um, mm -hmm. procedures like that. Yeah. It definitely it goes a long way. Yeah, yeah, I've really enjoyed doing like root canals mm -hmm. and crown preps as well, because especially with root canals, you feel like you're an actual dentist now. Yeah. Like, yeah. it's so like yeah technique sensitive and stuff so good yeah yeah i'd completely agree i think everything that i've done in therapy i still really enjoy but you yeah. know when you start doing crown preps and then you're like oh this is why i wanted to yeah do it and i think i enjoyed that exactly has being in dental school or even hygiene therapy has that changed your oral health routines <laughs> yeah <laughs> How so? I think uh, the electric toothbrush was definitely one. <laughs> we got given the free it electric yeah, yeah. The free. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So if not for anything else, come yeah. to dental school because you get for a free the, electric yeah. toothbrush. For the free toothbrush. That's it. Yeah. yeah, I think definitely that and um, uh, obviously the the internal cleaning, mm. spit down rinse that always sticks with you. Definitely yeah. yes. Um, mm. But electric toothbrush, one reason yeah. to come. <laughs> <laughs> Would you say your routines have changed as well? Yeah, like, I feel like it takes me like five minutes to do my teeth now. You're like, probably all very on it mm. with teeth brushing and cleaning and yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can have to be yeah. at dental school. Yeah. yeah. Also, you probably never have to buy toothpaste again. Yeah. I mean, oh, like I haven't bought highlight. toothpaste in yeah, years. Yeah, the last time. <laughs> I refuse. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So many samples. <laughs> so, I mean, you come into the end of your time um, at dental school, what are you most looking forward to um, as practicing dentists? I think probably um, the foundation year. Um, I know with foundation you also have a supervisor and you're also, it's a little bit like university, but you have that sort of independence where you know like your six point pocket chance aren't being checked and um, you know just just a little little details yeah. so I think the independence will probably be um, will, will probably be good yeah. uh, forming your own treatment plans because you know there's um, different ways of how you can actually form it um, so actually uh, taking lead and being um, doing yeah. things for yourself yeah right. mm -hmm. and for the both of you because you've already had experience working um, in clinics as, as therapists um, this time round, what would you say you're looking forward to once you qualify as dentist? I think 
thing, yeah. just the independence, not having to work to a, um, a prescription. Yeah. Or, yeah, having that independence and thinking, oh, I, I know how to treat this patient as a whole mm-hmm. um, and putting everything that we've learned into practice. Yeah. yeah. Right. And I guess what would you say are your most proud moments throughout this whole experience? Mm. I think getting this far. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> getting in. Yeah. 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 Uh, but no, um, truthfully, probably um, the first few patients that you see, the first few extractions that you do, the first root canal you do, I think it's little achievements. Mm-hmm. Um, I wouldn't say a achievement, I say the little things, the little achievements through the way um, that's definitely got me through. Like when you're applying, the most important thing in the world is getting in. And then once you've got in, the most important thing is get through the first semester, passing the exams. And and then it's your first patient and then yeah. it's your first root canal so your achievements just continually yeah. gradually get harder um, yeah. and they keep changing so it's just very important to have um, these little celebrations okay. through, through your time I think for me it's like seeing that you've made a difference in like a patient yeah, yeah. like um, your treatment like you've done a few crowns now they look a bit better you've given them a, a denture and yeah. they can now like function and eat and stuff so it's been really rewarding as well as like the little things along the way yeah yeah, yeah. Um, for me, I definitely agree with, with all of those. It's, the, it's all the little achievements as well as, you know, providing, like you said, a denture for a patient who has no anterior front teeth and just changing their lives, really. Yeah. Um, but also, I really enjoyed, like, I organised a lot of the dental school events. Mm-hmm. Um, and I really enjoyed that. And, you know, it was a good way for all the students to let off steam and, yeah. and yeah. mingle and, yeah. Okay, I'm going to throw some categories at you and then I'm going to ask you to pick one that you think you would fit best with. So the first one would be specialist, dentist with a special interest, or general dentist who's getting really good at everything. I mean, personally, I'm in Blackpool deck. So um, the the tutor that we have, you know, Mr. Knott, um, he is a, a he was a general dentist, and um, he is good at everything. He yeah. can pretty much do everything. I have very good standing, and I quite like that approach. Um, I quite like being a generalist, being good at um, being able to do everything, being good at everything. Yeah. And because I've been supervised by him, I feel like I've been influenced by him in that positive way. Yeah. So I think that's probably something a category which uh, would interest me. All right. I think for me, probably specialist because I don't know there's so many different things that I'm interested in so like I don't know I'd like to get really good at one thing I don't mm. know yeah for me I think um, being a general dentist first I want to find I, like you say I, I like quite a lot of things I haven't found what I really want to pursue full time um, mm. but maybe there is something maybe I would like a special interest yeah. I don't know <laughs> alright no thank you guys for that and um yeah, hopefully we can do something similar in the future. But yeah, thank you for that.